Hey, lovely people. Coupon and Krista here. I am back. <laughs> Crystal has been gone. Coupon and Krista has been gone. I haven't been posting no deals. I really haven't even been couponing, y'all. I really, really haven't been doing much of any couponing. I'm so sorry, but I am back and I am ready to post some deals. This video, I'm going to be giving an update about my Walgreens rant about my, um, my my theft of my money okay <laughs> and i've got some mail from some of you lovely people i got one two three four things of mail today and this was in the um my post office box first let's do the walgreens update okay um basically what happened was i posted a video and i was uh titled it don't swipe at walgreens because initially when it happened um, I had just started couponing at Walgreens. You guys know I was not couponing at Walgreens. So I thought it was very ironic that I had gotten, um, fraudulent charges on my card the very same day or day after that I posted a video for couponing at Walgreens. I was, coupons was my coupon. Walgreens was my boot that week, okay? Remember, I was just getting all the clearance and I was rolling the points and getting the getting the reward and doing the paper deal and I was just really feeling Walgreens. And then it all said, shh, <laughs> because I was pissed off about my money. So what the person did, or we can assume, because I went all the way to the district manager for that particular store in California, because number one, it took two weeks for my money to get back to me. That's right. I just got my money this week. And that happened, you guys know, the 15th or 16th of September. That's crazy. I got so many messages from you lovely people. Crystal, don't worry about it. You're going to get your money back. I know I'm a tither and a giver. So I know where my help comes from. My help comes from the Lord. But I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> when somebody just steals your money like that and it's not even somebody coming up to you and, and sticking up a gun and stealing it they just literally just was in another state I can't reach out and touch you I can't see you and you using my money had me feeling some type of way to say the least okay this person actually was a man Walgreens actually checked the camera and found out that it was a man. He actually swiped a debit card. Now, keep in mind, I did not lose my card. He actually duplicated a card, I guess you could say. The district manager told me that, of course, people can walk past you, press a machine that they have on them, that they can skim your numbers or uh, grab your account number or some type of way electronically. They grab the number and then they go and make another card off of like the cards that they buy in the store the debit cards or i don't know i don't even want to learn okay because I, it just is just like too much for me this nut went to a walgreens swiped a card bought 185 dollars and some odd cents worth of gift cards okay then he turned around went to another city in california and went to Kohl's, shopped at Kohl's. Then he turned around and went to a vending machine. By this point, I didn't realize it, okay? So, <laughs> so I realized it once the, the first transaction posted, the Walgreens posted, and then other transactions came through later or whatever because they, I guess they just didn't show up immediately. So he ended up um, going to a vending machine and swiping a vending machine and what I could see online that vending machine is somewhere on a university campus. So he's a dumb criminal, seems to me, because he likes to show his face. And I'm the type of person, I'm not going to just stop at my local level. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I reported it to my local police. And then my local police said I could do a police report there, did that. And they actually forwarded the police report to those three cities in California. So yes, I hope he gets caught. I surely do. Because at the end of the day, everyone works hard for their money. I know I do. I, my job is not physical. My job is mental. So <laughs> I, 
I work for my coins, okay? And I work too hard to be letting somebody take them and use my money and they are not uh, related to me. I don't think so. So at any rate, got my money back, closed the account, went to a totally different bank. I ain't playing because you took too long to give me my money back. So <laughs> I went my um, same bank my husband banks with. <laughs> Oh, um, it just is ridiculous. So anyway, so many lovely people, so many friends of mine told me, oh, that's happened to me two, three times. First of all, once, twice, I'm done. I don't want a card from that company anymore. I'm done. I'm not going to keep doing that. I don't have time to be waiting on my money to come back. I don't understand that. But anyway, it is very prevalent in the society that we live in that um, identity theft, people using other people's credit information, stealing, you know, it's just really sad how this has become such a commonplace thing. It's like really, really, really commonplace. And that's the sad part of it. That's the sad part of it. But on a lighter note, I'm done with that. I'm not going to be bashing Walgreens. I was just upset. I still like Walgreens. I haven't went back there, but one time since that incident, but it doesn't matter. I'm shopping, I'm couponing with cash now, so it don't matter. <laughs> so anyway, let's get to the mail, okay? First of all, Shakayla. Shakayla, I don't know what happened to the mail, but there was a piece of mail that I had emailed you about, and this is for Shakayla that lives in uh, Chicago. I don't know why my mail came back because I declare the mail that you sent me today is the exact same address. The exact same address. So I really don't have no earthly idea why your stuff, I'm not going to show your address, but I don't know why your envelope came back. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. But this was some coupons I had mailed you for Coupon Blast way back in August and it came back to me. But I did get your mail, okay? So I got your mail, and I so, so appreciate all the lovely coupons that you sent for Coupon Bless Coupon Exchange. You sent some CPAC. See, my lovely people, they listen to Coupon and Crystal. They know what I like, because <laughs> I do like the CPAC, because I like the shrimp scampi, okay? She sent some of that. She sent some Tresemme, which we can um, put in the coupon exchange, coupon bless. We've got some Inno, Inno Asian cuisine. Never heard of that. Um, we've got some of that new yogurt that everybody's talking about. So we've got some great coupons. And she sent some Cincinnati coupons from my husband, the Richard, okay? <laughs> I thought that was so sweet. So... She sent some Cincinnati. Everybody sent Cincinnati. Everybody was listening and thinking about Mr. Richard. So I told him he's going to have to use all these Cincinnati coupons so he can stock up, see, because Cincinnati is ridiculously priced, okay? But he likes that toothpaste. So he, we must get him what he likes. <laughs> but I did buy him some last night because last night was the last night for Harris Teeter Super Double. I had the dollar coupon that doubled. I still paid $3.99. <laughs> it's what it is. I got some more Sensodyne coupons. And this was sent from, I don't know. They did not put a return name, but it was from Philadelphia. So, thank you, lovely person in Philadelphia. I appreciate the Cincinnati coupons for my boo, the Richard. Then, we have... We've got some more Cincinnati coupons from Lenita. Miss Lenita from Houston, Texas. Thank you so much. Hope your hubby enjoys P.S. Love, love, love your videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate so much you lovely people sending in the Cincidine because Mr. Richard will love that. And I also have Cincidine that we can include in Coupon Bless Coupon Exchange. Now, my last envelope was from Miss Linda. Miss Linda is in Donaldsonville, Louisiana. I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what Miss Linda said in her letter. But all I can say is, Miss Linda, 
I just so appreciate you. I'm going to tell you because your your letter really, really blessed my soul today. And um, on her stationery, it says, be still and know that I am God. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going to tell you that right there. That'll preach. <laughs> That's all I can say. That'll preach. So, Sister Dine, thank you. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you, Linda. I hope that all you lovely people have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day on tomorrow. I so appreciate you all sending in the Sister Dine coupons. I so appreciate your support in watching me rant and fuss about wild grains because I was totally pissed off to say the least, okay? But so many people offer prayers. So many people offered encouragement. Crystal, I'm going to be praying for you. I'm so sorry that happened to you. It's just sometimes when you're upset, it's just good to know that there is someone out there that cares, you know? So please know I so appreciate you lovely people just taking the time to even just come on and watch me talk about something that I love to do, which is couponing. <laughs> I enjoy couponing. So that's all I had to say on this video. I'm going to be coming back to post my CVS deal because I got to play catch up, y'all. I had to actually throw away. I had to throw away a registered reward from Walgreens. I let expire. I had Food Lion. Food Lion is doing this thing where they give you money back some type of way. Like, I had like a $375 coupon. I had to throw it away because I let it expire. I let a $10 coupon for Publix expire. I was just like, oh, I it to my heart to throw away free money. Because that's just like, I was just throwing away free money. I felt Oh, Christy, you fell off the coupon wagon. <laughs> I fell off the coupon wagon. I got to get it together. So I'm missing all these deals. So I'm back. Oh, oh, oh. Let me interject this also. Oh, this past weekend was my Mary Ann, my sister Mary Ann from the coupon crew. It was her birthday. She turned the big 50 and the theme of the birthday party. I threw her a um, surprise birthday party and the theme was 50 is fine and fabulous and she is 50 fine and fabulous okay so i posted the video because i was trying to be able to show it on the screen in my living room on my um the, the big tv so i I couldn't get it. To, I don't know why it wouldn't pick up off my phone. So once I posted it to YouTube and then it picked up and we were able to play it and watch it, which was just a little video, you know, just showing. Um, I didn't even get to narrate it. I didn't even get to add the narration. So I just played it on the screen and I did the, you know, I just ad libbed and did the narration. But everybody got a kick out of it. And it, we got to see some some young pictures of Marianne. We got to see her children. And I just so appreciate you lovely people taking the time to watch her video. Um, telling her happy birthday. She so appreciates that. And um, I'll in, insert some um, pictures from the party. it was it was it was it was what do they call it all the way live up in here <laughs> it was turned up for real for real <laughs> off, of, off of uh punch and happy juice <laughs> it was turned up for real so it was funny we had a dance contest we had a photo booth everybody had a ball i would say that um this surpassed the Christmas party, I must say. I, I, I'm i pretty sure this surpassed the Christmas party. I was on it this time. Because, see, I wanted to make sure I had my desserts. And uh, my sister-in-law, Daisha, she did the cake. She does cake. She did the cake. She did um, collard green egg rolls. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. She did collard green egg rolls. She did um, pizza egg rolls. I don't even like collard greens, but I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> that collard green egg roll was the truth. <laughs> that was good. Um, and what else was the highlight? Um, 
Candace from the Coupon Crew, which is Marianne's daughter. She did the Oreo balls. Delicious. Matter of fact, I forgot. I got some Oreo balls left in my refrigerator in my room. <laughs> That's going to be my snack when I go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet now because I done ran over the video. Bye-bye. <laughs>